shalom, shalom. In today's video, man, I wanna talk about how modesty for today's women is almost a thing of the past. Men get shamed, persecuted, and ridiculed for even desiring a modest woman. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah shalom thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritful episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man you know if we go back 50 years you know you didn't see women walking around with shorts showing their moose knuckle you know butt cheeks hanging out this epidemic of spandex leggings with the thong stitching showed in it you know th th this stuff is there's really a lot of eyesores and you know men and women cannot help looking at this like if you like if you see a woman walking with her butt cheeks out there's two different kind of looks there's the look of the lustful man. And then there's the look of a man with wisdom saying, man, this is a daggone shame. This is a daggone shame. You know, anytime a man addresses this, especially with, 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 with your woman, she doesn't understand how distasteful it is. She wants to go in a, in a, in a long back and forth because everybody else in the culture is doing it, so therefore in her mind it's acceptable. At that minute, man, it's like, so many of these women claim to be God, godly women, but you know what they don't do? They don't fear the Most High Yah, they don't keep His commandments, you know? And you got so many women, not only single women and married women that, that wanna be the Sierra to the Russell Westbrook. And women don't realize how embarrassing that is. That's why that man always looks sad. Every time you see him on the carpet, he's like, man, I gotta stand beside this woman and she's up here butt naked, letting the world see everything. You know, uh, you, you this modern generation of women, they are so free and liberated that if you like, hey, you need to put on some draws. Oh, that's an argument. You need to put on a bra. You know, these women want to want to let Areola show. You know, for the women out there that's got piercings, this is just like a, a, a another sexual advertisement. Oh, I ain't wearing no bra. God gave me this body, and I'ma show it off. No, that's not what He told you to do. You can't find nowhere in the word where he told you to do that. He told you to be modest and meek. You gotta understand, man, a lot of women miss out on good men because a man will look at how you carry yourself. And a lot of you don't, if you really looked at the, the history of some of this stuff, you wouldn't even wanna wear it. You wouldn't even wanna wear it. You know, these eyelashes, that originate from a prostitute, okay? You don't care nothing about that. You just still wanna wear them, okay? Uh, these high heels. A lot of women do, does not know what a classy pair of dress shoes for a woman is without making themselves look like harlots and hookers and prostitutes. A lot of these women think just because they paid an expensive amount of money for some red bottoms that's five, six inches off the ground, you think that's classy. Cause you throwing a, a five, $600,000 pocketbook on the side of it. No, you are still dressed in the attire of a harlot. You know, these doggone, you know, uh, body suits. You gotta understand, man, summertime come around, these doggone women lose their mind. 
wanting to wear a bodysuit. And, and and some of you, you 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 need a hotter bodysuit. Just being honest. How bold and prideful you get in your rebel, you need a hider bodysuit, a body bag to cover some of this stuff up that's spilling out. It's a doggone shame. And you know, if you look at two, three generations of women, you might have like a 60 and above generation of women that knows what it means to be modest. You know, they're not trying to show off every curve of their body. You gotta understand, man, the last time I left the church, man, women was wearing uh, skirts and dresses halfway up their thighs. And these people were carrying titles in the in in these places. You lost your daggone mind. Have lost your mind. And women sit back and say, "Oh yeah, girl, you look good. You look good." But all y'all, all y'all gonna have at the end of the day is a bunch of cats and a bad wrinkled body because you've outgrown that season. Life then dog gonna hit you. At what point do you say, you know what? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the approach. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look deep into my recipe of what I think sexy is and value being sexy behind closed doors to my man versus being sexy to the world. But it goes to show you the time frame that we're in. Women don't even care nothing about what I'm saying. It's all about your liberation, but you're gonna you're gonna liberate yourself to the lake of fire. Especially when you're, especially for the women that have men and your men are addressing this to you, you need to go put on some more clothes. What in your right mind would allow you to walk out the house like that? You know, you don't see good men out here just free balling and uh, 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 Tom, Dick and Harry just, just swinging all everywhere. You see foolish men doing that crap. At what point will the modern woman have some kind of decorum about herself? Some kind of dignity. A good man will look at how you dress as a woman and know off rip, you're gonna be disrespectful. The way you dress and disrespect yourself, I know that mouthpiece is disrespectful. You, 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 you quack like a harlot quack like a doggone uh, a, a prostitute and you probably got that, that that serpent tongue like one no man wants it's already hard enough being a good protector but don't nobody want to sign up for protecting a har uh, uh, no good man wants to sign up for protecting a harlot and you're going out here advertising to the world sex you got to look at some of these women in, in business they've sensationalized sex in the workplace. Doing good work is no longer no longer the goal but but being a sex symbol in the workplace. I'm telling you man, this, this this desire and need for attention on modern women is off the chain. You look at you look at some of these pop the balloon shows. Some of these things these women show. These women been showing up on there with with with, with uh, you know whole breast out, everything except the nipple showing, whole butt cheek out, and you're talking about you're an educated, classy woman. I be I be, well, you ain't fooling nobody with that. I'm telling you, man, this stuff this stuff will blow your mind. Will blow your mind. You know. Uh, Every year, man, there, there's something that comes out. Every so many years, there's something that's a new wave amongst the women. And I just be like, man, oh man. Hope this, hope this doggone crap don't make it into my house. Cause you know, it's an argument. You know, it's a conversation. There is not gonna be a conversation of submission. Uh, uh, yes, I'm not gonna wear that. I didn't know, I didn't even understand it from that perspective. It's always what well, everybody else is doing it. You don't want me to be this and want me to be liberated? Man, flip that. I'm calling it what it is, man. And that's one thing I do on this channel. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight. Bow.